you've got little girls, you've got young boys, you seem to have all ages here. Oh, indeed. It's not like a boxing or a wrestling crowd. It's much more family-oriented because so many more people are involved in the martial arts for self-defense and for exercise and, and, and so that there's a, a base of the entire family. You see much more women at the kickboxing than you would at a boxing event and children as well. How popular is the sport, say, in Britain? Is it growing in popularity, or is it in pockets in various parts of the country? I think that would be a fair statement of a couple of years ago, but it seems to be through the, through the uh, popularity of the martial arts movies, such as Karate Kid and the movie The Kickboxer, spreading and spreading more. I know that it, I can speak that it is in the States. It's one of the fastest growing sports at home now, and uh, I think it's sweeping Europe as well. Well, Ronnie Green's getting a tremendous amount of support from this crowd. They're really trying to lift him. Indeed. Master Toddy giving some final sage words of advice to his protege from Manchester. This is uh, about a set in the lightweight division, 135 pounds. Scheduled again for five rounds under full tie rules. Ronnie Green is four times world champion, and Sombat is the current Thai champion, the International Muay Thai Federation world champion, and the most popular and famous kickboxer in Thailand. A very classic matchup. And it shows what style. you just said, Dale, shows the strength of the task that Ronnie Green has got, it really is a forbidding task for him. Certainly is. A good opening kick by Ronnie Green. And a good defense. Sombat's specialty is the right leg round kick. That's what we should watch for. It's a pretty wicked looking blow. It is. He uses mostly the right side of the body, the right knee, the right leg, the right elbow. He's not much of a puncher, though. A good combination. Ronnie Green countered and came back with a beautiful three-technique combination. And that's something we haven't seen much today from the Europeans is, is coming back in combinations. It's always been one or two. And uh, Ronnie always works in combinations of three, four, and five. That's what makes him so good. That and he's a very smart fighter. Seems to be a, a vicious scar on the top of the head of some bat where maybe he received an elbow or a headbutt in a, in a recent bout. You see, it actually parts his hair. Well, nothing in it at the moment. It's early doors yet, but absolutely nothing between them at this moment That's in time. That's true. Yeah, beautiful leg kick by Ronnie. That hurt. He brought the, the, the bone of his shin right across the, the thigh of the Thai fighter, and that hurts. One minute to go in the first round, and Ronnie Green of Manchester putting up a great show. Looking again, I'm looking for a combination from Ronnie Green. That's the key to victory for him, is, is to fire in combination. Just like that. One, two punch and then the kick. It was beautiful. Again, how beautiful. It's working well for Ronnie Green. Hand, hand, and then foot combination. Hand, hand, foot. He's used it three times in this round, and it's, and it's landing well. Take him 
Ronnie's using a feint well there, faking him, making him make a move. A good round for Ronnie Green. I might score it for him. Well, that's it. That's the first time a European fighter has shaded around. I think you're right. Ronnie Green using the combination. Very good. And it carried him the first round, in my own opinion. The point, I suppose, Dale, is this. I mean, is, is the tie at the moment a bit of a sleeping tiger? Uh, he's got more to offer, hasn't he? Oh, oh much, much, much more to offer. Again, the ties always start slow. Round one, round two, slow. Then the last three, they go very hard. He'll pick it up a bit in this round. But a great start by Ronnie Green. Oh, good. The left thigh of Sombat is very red and, and, and beginning to swell. So Ronnie has landed good kicks, both to the inside and the outside of that left leg. He scored well. I think Sombat's a bit more concerned than he's letting on by his expression. Well, what a feature trouble. of Ronnie's fight. He, he's, he's coming back every time the tie attacks. He comes right, right back at him. He's doing a wonderful job of hitting last and hitting in combination. The tie backed him into the corner and delivered a powerful kick. Ronnie did block it, but it was still a jarring blow. Master Toddy in the corner, Ronnie Green is yelling for him to use the elbow. They must, they must have spotted something, an opening somewhere for that elbow. We'll see if we're looking for Ronnie to try it. But Ronnie must be puzzling the tie just a little. His footwork and defense and his speed. Good kick by Ronnie Green. A good kick to the hamstring, the back of the leg of Sombat. Ronnie Green is landing very well to the legs. There it was again. to the leg and that leg's getting redder and redder Keith he's riling him he's really upsetting him yeah good catch he's doing a swell job of catching the leg and then kicking the other leg and Sombat also has swelling about the right eye there's a left 30 seconds to go in and get another good round by Ronnie Green and a more good counter hitting they have walked right into a fighting tiger and Ronnie Green, and there was the left again. A beautiful left punch. He's found a target on the left eye. I'm sorry, on the right eye with that left punch. A very cool, calm, and collected Ronnie Green. Working like a surgeon in there. Nice move. Sombat did land a good kick, but Ronnie swept the leg out. The and I think that's the better of it. That's two rounds for Ronnie Green. Here we have the replay from round two. Ronnie again working the hand combination and then downstairs, fuck with the foot, landing good on the thigh. And that thigh, I don't know if you can see it on television, but it is red. Well, can Ronnie keep it up? That's the $64,000 question. Yeah, surely. His stamina is good. The tie will come out much stronger now, much stronger in round three. He lost the first so round. Well, that's the big test for Ronnie. He does. He's coming straight forward. And he caught a knee from Ronnie, a good knee to the body by Ronnie Green. A left punch, a beautiful left took punch by Ronnie Green. And a kick upside the head. The head. And the more the Sunbat charges, the better it is for Ronnie Green. The crowd really getting behind Ronnie Green now. He's got the crowd the tie worried. into it. Good throw. We'll see who got the better of that. 
Ronnie needs to be ready to shoot the elbow now as he moves forward with his hands in front. And there was the left elbow. It was blocked a bit, but that's the weapon to use as they just walk in like that. Ronnie's well, getting really rough now, Dale. Certainly is. Certainly is. Ronnie's the only European on the card tonight experienced enough to use the tie's own weapons back against him, the elbow and the knee. A referee having trouble separating yes. them. Looking for a left elbow from Ronnie Green, and there it was. The lock up. Sombat doesn't seem to be as skilled with the knee as some of the earlier ties we've seen. He doesn't seem to be as quite as skilled using the knee as a weapon. And yet he, Ronnie's better at defending, probably, too. And yet he's the international federation champion. True. But what a fight by Ronnie Green. He's performed almost perfectly thus far. One minute to the end of the third round, and Ronnie Green must be ahead on points, if only marginally. A terrific fight by him. It's anybody's round at this point. Anybody's round here at this point, I would say. Neither man's dominated the third. So I'm bet certainly more, the more aggressor, but he hasn't been able to land effectively on Ronnie Green. Good punch. Good right hand by Green. Oh, another oh, right Tremendous hand. stuff. He staggered him. The tie's looking anything but happy about this. That's true. I think it's Ronnie Green's good defense has allowed him to use his hands and score well where the other guys have failed. Another good round. I mean, the tie wants to pull in the points and he's waving his arms about, but surely Ronnie's still shading it. I think Ronnie Green has controlled the action through three rounds. I have him ahead. And he's done so well on the defense. And fought well in combination. excitement here Dale great tension because at last in the fourth contest there are hopes of a Western a British win certainly Ronnie Green has done well uh, we have him ahead here we don't know how the judges have it but we feel Ronnie's is leading the fight and done very well things heat up right away here in round four but Sombat's bound to go at him in these last two rounds he certainly has to but I think that the more aggressively he comes, the easier it's going to be for Ronnie to score if his stamina holds up. A good throw. Ronnie has not allowed the tie to use any tricks in this fight thus far. He's countered him well. Referee Blackridge having a hands full in this fight too. Sombat trying to come back hard now. He's only got a round and a half to do it That's in. That's true. He's looking very offensive in the face. Very psyched up. But he's also getting hit. Ronnie stays cool. Good punch combination. Oh, yeah. He's, he's trying to pretend he's not hurt. Yeah. Well, Sombat can wave his head. No, it didn't hurt, but it certainly did score. It's evidenced by the redness on the face of Sombat as Ronnie is dominating the action here in round four. Literally picking the tie apart. Scoring cleanly, very cleanly. Ronnie's at, at ease in the ring and doing well. And Dale, what you were saying in the earlier bouts, what Ronnie's doing is using his natural aggression through his gloves. He's going forward all the time. That is correct. And look at 
this Ronnie Green pressing the action now as things have turned in round four. Sombat came out so forcefully, but now he's the one with his back against the ropes. One minute in the fourth round of this enthralling contest with Ronnie Green of Manchester calling the shots at the moment. You can really see the damage on, on Sombat's, the right side of Sombat's face from Ronnie's left punch. The crowd at Edmonton really behind the British boxer. Sombat trying to throw everything at him. Another good left by Ronnie Green. I don't know that Sombat is as tired as he is, maybe confused as to why he can't score. Ronnie Green is virtually pitching a shutout defensively. Well, I think what's happening is Sombat's throwing his best shots at Ronnie and he, they're not doing anything. That's correct. Ronnie Green is on the verge of becoming a hero in Britain. I think he's winning the psychological battle as well. Indeed he is, and there's the end of round four. I say another solid round for Ronnie Green. So Ronnie Green, one round, three minutes away from a great victory. Well, Dale Cook and I make Ronnie Green on course for a famous victory. The judges, three of them, two Brits and uh, one tie, so anybody's... Uh, look at the way Ronnie's going in there. Three Here minutes. Here comes Ronnie Green with a packed house of British fans here behind him. Pandemonium in this round as Sombat throws everything in to try and salvage it. We make Ronnie Green ahead. And Sombat's going wild to try and break this yes, back. a beautiful throw by Ronnie Green. I think, by the way, Sombat's come out. He must know he's behind. Going in like a wild man, Sombat. He's got to knock Green out to win this. And what a roar will go up at the end if Ronnie Green does get it. Indeed. Another beautiful throw. <laughs> Ronnie Green. The fighting gentleman. Sombat seems to have slowed a bit now. Well, he came out like a whirlwind, yeah, but again, truly. Ronnie's non plus him. As you said earlier, he always seems to be able to get in the last blow. Ronnie Green always seems to land the last technique. He's only about a good combination for Ronnie Green. Only about two minutes away from a tremendous victory, at least as far as we're concerned. Of course, our vote counts for nothing. <laughs> it's up to the judges. But unofficially, we have Ronnie Green way ahead at this point. We've had three victories by the ties. It would be a great thing for British Thai boxing if Ronnie Green could do this. The crowd setting up the chant to Ronnie, Ronnie. And he comes on. at the, the ties. Oh, a beautiful exchange. The ties seem to start every fight with the gum shield in, but by, by the time they get to the third round, uh, it's gone. They don't feel they want it or need it. 45 seconds left, and surely Ronnie Green, when the judges have deliberated, will have his hand raised aloft if he can keep out of trouble for 40 seconds. Ronnie needs to watch out for the grab, because it only takes one knee to the face. I think Sombat's blown his fuses now. Certainly. He's on the verge of defeat. Everyone can feel it in this packed arena. And when the bell sounds in this fifth round, everyone in Pickett's Lock Center is going to go to their feet as they feel their man is on the verge of a great victory. What a finish by Green. He's finishing. We're coming to the end of the contest, and what a roar will go up. There it is. That's it. What a fight. We have Ronnie Green. The winner, at least on our scorecard.
Well, I don't think anybody wants to wait for the judge's decision, Dale. But what I a great fight not. by both men. Well, a really sporting finish to a great contest. The judges scored a draw. Now that is an amazing decision, Dale. Oh. Really, that is a staggering decision, and the Hall don't like it. How on earth that could be scored a draw, I do not know. A terrible decision, in my opinion. A terrible decision. Ronnie nearly shut him out the last three rounds. I don't think that decision will go down well. Everybody in the Hall is convinced that Ronnie Green won it. Ah. The three judges, two British, one tie, have scored it a draw, but how on earth they came to that decision, Dale? Keith, I'm terribly disappointed. A lucky man to get a draw. Terribly disappointed. Even though uh, two of the judges were British, it is to be said that all three judges were, should I say, hired by the IMF, the International Muay Thai Federation. And as to whether that had any influence on uh, how the bout was scored, I can't say, but... By a, by a coincidence...